In this update, you will get a whole set of new tools that will help you work with mocap. You can retarget your animation with just a few clicks, and it works for any characters that have auto-posing rig controllers. Simply copy your animation and then paste it into the scene with another character. And this works for humanoid characters of different proportions. This version also features a new tool that will help you edit any baked animation or a mocap. We call it Animation on Baking. It will automatically set the keyframes and choose the best interpolation methods for the intervals, making the animation fully ready for further editing. It is extremely useful to work, especially with mocap. Oftentimes, using animation on bacon alone helps you clean up most of the artifacts, and the rest you can now easily fix in the keyframes. Or you can easily edit any animations from the assets. You can change the timings, poses, or maybe even add new stuff to it. And throwing auto physics on top will ensure that your animation stays physically accurate. You can also adjust how close to the original the animation should be. You might as well set a different value for different intervals of the animation. Autophysics has also received an upgrade. The character now can interact with the environment. Say you can now jump off the walls. Or interact with moving platforms. Working with physics will also become more easy and fun, since all the parameters can now be controlled with only four sliders. You can easily adjust trajectory and rotation smoothness, add compensation motion and secondary motion. So there's a bunch of smaller but nonetheless useful improvements. Autoposing has now more controllers available to it. Weapon controllers are now also visible in the auto-posing mode. There's now easier ways you can set up the viewport, improved constraints, and much more.